Now the print is finished and it has a hole in the bottom but there is no threads there yet. So here I have a bolt with camera standard threads on but since there is no thread there I cannot put it in. I take a lighter Just heat it up a bit and then just screw it on. Huh, wait a minute, I just screw it back out. Screw it in there, and now I have threads here. As so I take the camera mount, and just screw it on like this. Now Go for tripod mount. And the second GoPro mount I did was for a telescopic uh, uh, mop shaft. So that's very good if you film fish etc. And then I have one of these. I just screw it on like this. Now we have a very nice GoPro stick. And I like to use this to film fish with, put it in the water, in the stream or something where there is fish and you can film the fish. Before I used to tape the camera to a stick like that, this, to this mount you don't need it. And there is also people that do skiing and stuff, they film their self like this. Yeah, and this piece was actually a bit challenging to make in SketchUp. Uh, I haven't done much threads before, so I had to learn how to make threads that fit. So, the first thing I did was I counted the number of threads starting from here, and I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 threads on this. And then, of course, I measured the, the height and the diameter here and diameter here and stuff. But now I'm gonna show you in SketchUp how I did it. I used two plugins, one Helix plugin and one Scale plugin. Just Google for them. I already installed those in mine. Oh. Let's start. I just type 30 millimeter radius on this and uh, let's say 90. Now I create a cylinder. I mark the top surface and then I take plugin helix and then it was 90. And yes, it was uh, six threads on it, six turns on the threads and group, yes. So, there I created it there and then I just mark mark that the helix because it's a group now so it's gonna mark as a box then I take the rotate tool put it in the center and I press and hold in the control key to to copy it 
and I put it on an angle of 75 and then I just tap X2 before I do anything else that means it creates an array out of two so now you have a cylinder with uh, three helixes on and then you select everything and use a tool called uh, 3 to scale and take box tapering and you just select it there and drag and you also hold in the control key to to scale it uh, symmetric there now you have that and then you just select everything and take xload and now you mark the center helix and then you take the normal size tool you can do that by pressing the S key and then you take a corner here and drag out and you also need to hold down the control key to make it symmetrical and then you see number in the in the left right corner there so I will take it let's say 1.2 1.2 I just type it 1 colon 2 semicolon 1 colon 2 that's now I have the shape of the of the threads there what I do now is I just draw a new circle and I go with this size and move it yeah that was how I did the threads now I'm just gonna fast forward so you can see how I did the rest uh, speed it up a little bit so it doesn't get too boring and it's very easy to design in SketchUp and it's very fast this piece I just did uh, so it looked the same as the GoPro mount I didn't measure anything or, or have correct measurement I just did it to show how it's done yeah now it's finished so that's the way you design a GoPro mount in SketchUp. Uh, goodbye.